is up YouTube it is Sunday night we're getting ready for can't pool live you will not believe not believe what happened I uh, closed the door didn't even like slam it or anything and uh, we had some some crazy like, I think the goblins started fighting or something because uh, the spider burst is in a little bit of a wreck right now. They, uh, they came crashing down. Got to watch out for those goblins. They are the worst. Dystopian guy, what's up? Glue, Sniffer, Robert, what is up? Mama said, pop you out. What's going on? Rob, Primetime Reviews, what's going on? Vinyl Dragon, yeah, thank you. Uh, they are very nice. There's some light, and let's get a little more light. Let's get a little more light. Let's do this. El Patron, what is up? Rakeem, yo. Brian, I'm doing well. I hope uh, everybody's doing well, having a good weekend. Uh, productive day. Uh, volleyball lessons this morning. Cut the grass, got to the mall. All kinds of good stuff today and uh, put up a video so new toy hunt video it's actually from last weekend uh, because I forgot my toys in the back of Greg's car so I needed to have him ship what I got at second and Charles so I could finish the video spoilers and I needed him to ship me this because I have not been able to find this guy in my area. So, uh, Greg Cook, lift the hook up. There he is. Great timing. Great timing. Did you get another NECA Street diorama? Good question, Glue Sniffer. Yes, uh, I did the pre-order for the Ninja Turtles, the cartoon street diorama. Um, I'm interested to see if those posters are going to be on there or if that's something that you add. But either way, uh, I think it's going to look good next to that street diorama, maybe right in there. And uh, we're going to load up some marvel legends on it so i am excited uh i want to say maybe first quarter next year so that'll be awesome uh yeah i i, I showered i had to wash some of the grass off of me anthony what is going on uh the regular one's awesome uh i wish they would uh put the movie ninja turtles diorama back up that would be so awesome that would be my NECA dream come true uh i looked at it when they first announced it and i was like oh man if i buy that thing i'm not collecting ninja turtles i'm gonna get into ninja turtles so i didn't do it and i definitely regret it Especially once I bought the street diorama there. Because the stuff that bugged me about it being Ninja Turtles movie could have been an easy fix. But hey, live and learn. And I got the comic book, or comic book, the uh, animated one coming. And I am excited for that diorama. I uh, found G.I. Joe's and Red Ninja in my local Walgreens. Man, El Patron, uh, let me know. I uh, I could use some Red Ninjas, just saying. 
even though I might have uh, might have secured some red ninjas today, so we'll see. My local comic store had six of them, six of the regular dioramas. That'd be pretty cool. What's up, Josh? Got sick of NECA. Yeah, NECA, I mean, it's, uh, it's tough. Definitely resellers uh, stuck it to the NECA market, and we'll see if it comes back. I saw quite a few Rocksteady and Bebops over the weekend, so we'll uh, we'll see what uh, what NECA looks like the rest of the year. Just received Deadpool and Nega Sonic. Ah, I am so jealous. Like I want that Deadpool so bad, so bad. Uh, ever since I got this lovely lady. And uh, cable, I am, uh, I am needing that Deadpool. That Deadpool will, uh, will complete me. Can't, uh, can't wait. Yeah, Amazon, uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Sending stuff, not sending stuff. Like it is, uh, it's a weird world we live in with uh, these items. These. Uh, in and out of stock, what street dated it is, uh, what a world, what a world, right? <laughs> Night of Ren, yeah, I've been jealous. Uh, the Hugh Jackman Wolverine is a great look. Uh, I went to Books a Million today, no video, so this isn't a spoiler. Um, they had Rogue and Pyro, which was pretty cool. Plenty of the Mysterio on the retro card. And I'm trying to think who else. Uh, they had the Mystique, but I couldn't find Wolverine. Uh, me and Greg are battling to see who's going to get Old Man Logan, Old Man Hawkeye first. Uh, that is an awesome set. And I've kind of heard that maybe those are... Uh, Hitting books a million, so I'm definitely going to be bugging books a million. Second and Charles, definitely going to be bugging them. But uh, talk about Walgreens. I am seeing a lot of Walgreens getting ready to reset, and all kinds of uh, toys. I mean, we know how some of these toys are that come into Walgreens. But uh, you're looking at, like, the second kind of wall of toys. And uh, looks like we're about to, about to get quite a few things at Walgreens. I don't know if there'll be delays. But uh, on one of the reset papers I saw at Walgreens, they were still showing the uh, Eternals, which is uh, the movie. And I think some comic book Marvel Legend figures. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think they had Moon Knight listed as Twilight. Uh, Ryan was trying to convince me it was going to be like the vampire movies and stuff. Marvel Twilight figures. That's uh, that's not the case. It's uh, it's probably, probably the Moon Knight, Moon Knight figure. And uh, so, yeah, I think we uh, we got some Marvel Legends hopefully restocking. I don't know what everybody's Walgreens look like, but mine are pretty empty right now. So I am excited for this reset, and hopefully we'll get all kinds of G.I. Joes, all kinds of good, good figures and uh, we'll have a reason to uh, be hunting at Walgreens again. Because uh, I really slowed down on Walgreens. They did not have, like, anything lately. So I, I probably went at least two or three weeks without uh, going into Walgreens. Uh, Black Series, yeah, uh, a lot of the Black Series in our area... 
I think we're marked down to like almost seven ninety nine. So they're uh, they're trying to clear those out too. Trying to clear them out. Clear, clear, clear. I don't know um, if you all saw the Plastic Empire video. I mean, everybody in the chat is pretty awesome, so I'm sure you all did. But uh, still, uh, still claiming this guy. This guy is still, still in the claimed, claimed, claimed. Good old MJ. Now, if you ever, ever need to claim an item and Greg Cook is somewhere in the area, uh, Greg is probably the greatest claim official I, uh, I've ever seen. He was right on top of uh, my claim, and he, uh, he saw it all the way through. He, uh, he made sure nobody was getting that MJ because I claimed it. Buzzman304 says dibs. Get the dibs. But uh, what do y'all say? Uh, should we open up Cobra Commander? Cobra. Let's see where my knife got to. Where's my knife at? Glue Sniffer says yes. Yes, I'm the Cobra Commander. Let me go see where the knife got to. Where's the knife at? Who's got the knife? Oh, yeah. Found it. Found it. So if uh, if you're following on Instagram, I uh, I got those metal tower pieces from eBay. Uh, they're made by a company called Toys Box, and they're basically like all metal pieces with magnets and stuff, and you can build like that real cool, real cool tower that you might have saw some of my. Instagram photos of well I got a second tower so uh, definitely stay tuned we're gonna load it up with some Cobra Troopers and some other fun stuff I did uh, some pictures with Mystique and we kind of had her drop in on the tower surprise a couple Cobra Troopers, and then she uh, transformed into a Cobra Trooper. If you don't believe me, go check it out on Instagram. I think I might have posted it on Facebook, too, in uh, some of the groups. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. You can make a fire escape with them. Yes. Um, I did buy a different set. So you can build more of a staircase or fire escape so it's not just a uh, straight up tower and uh when that set comes in i think we'll uh we'll have some pretty cool photos i'm excited to see how uh how the sets go together clink 93 what is up yeah i uh i had noticed these sets for a while on ebay found a seller out of uh, California area because a lot of times toy box I think they're out of Hong Kong so a lot of times it's gonna be somebody from China on eBay which isn't bad but uh, I prefer buying from somebody in the US a lot of that just has to do with uh, the shipping not being super weird and confusing. So with uh, this eBay seller out of California, you know, tracking number, the, the usual stuff, uh, they've actually been getting delivered like in a couple days when it says that it's going to be in a week. So very cool experience and awesome, awesome set. I'm definitely having some fun with them. 
and uh, we'll see how we can incorporate them into our toy photography. Two Brothers Comics, what's up? What is going on? So we got our knife. We got Cobra Commander himself. Let's get him out, and uh, we'll take a look at the Commander. So who's excited? We got uh, Hasbro Con coming up here in a couple weeks. We're going to get that exclusive Cobra Commander. Uh, we also have uh, that variant figure, which uh, should be not too much longer. That was a pre-order. I think Hasbro Pulse put that up for like a month, month and a half, and gave people an opportunity to pre-order the uh, variant of Cobra Commander. Should be uh, same body, I think just a different paint scheme on the Commander. And uh, so far, I am pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Yeah, this is uh, this is a nice Cobra Commander. This is cool. I, I like what we got here. Uh, not very, you know, not uh, totally classic, but there's enough here that you know who he is and uh, a little modern take on him. I think some of that is because of the video game that uh, they're going to be putting out. So this character's look will be more based on the game than uh, the old cartoon or comics and yeah pretty good i like the helmet and uh this guy can definitely be a commander we'll get him with uh destro we'll get him with the baroness and this is uh this is gonna be very nice i'm uh i'm excited cape uh obviously plastic but uh i like it it is kind of really wrapped into the shoulder and everything else going on with the commander. So taking it off, probably not, you know, the end of the world, but there is a lot going on there. So you are going to take quite a bit off the figure if you're taking off the belt and the cape. Uh, Uh, I did not watch, uh, I didn't watch any football today. Bullet 74, what is up? Is the helmet messed up? Patient Metal, what's up? No, the helmet looks good. I, uh, I don't see anything. No, the helmet looks real good. Uh, you don't have, like, a ton of articulation with, uh, you know, you can kind of look up only about that much with it being kind of a dome and stuff. Look down that much. So there's not like a ton of range with, uh, with the commander. But uh, it's not like he's going to get into like a big martial arts fight or anything. He's just kind of going to be standing, kind of leading, yelling at people, all that fun stuff. We got his pointer finger in here, so maybe he'll be pointing at Destro. 95% of the Cobra Commander's helmets is messed up bad. Huh. Is, uh, is Hasbro replacing those? Like, uh, I saw the email about the White Ranger where they were, like, fixing the, the White Ranger helmets. Harold Green, 1313, what is up, my guy? Harold was uh, checking out some Walmarts, trying to help me out. I appreciate that. Thomas Brock finally finished up Sugar Man. Nice. Picking up Toxin and Apocalypse. I am excited for uh, Toxin. I'm, uh, I'm interested to see if he's as different as I think he's going to look. I mean, obviously, the base body is going to be that monster Venom, but uh, hopefully... You know, he has enough difference to kind of carry himself. <clears throat> Jason, what is up? 
like watching your videos. Glad to be here. Well, Jason, thanks for uh, jumping into the Camp Pool Live. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's, uh, you know, it's fun making videos. It's fun talking into the camera, but uh, being able to interact with you all and chat and all that good stuff uh, makes it that much better. So thank you. Wait Streets, you demand, Kent. Well, Walt, sorry, I didn't mean to say wait. You are you are the man. Thank you. Uh, the right side horn is hooked most of the figures. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I think uh, I think he looks. I don't see anything. Y'all tell me. Am I missing something? I think he, he looks pretty good. Maybe we got uh, one of the five percent. But I don't. I'm not seeing. I think he. Uh, I think he looks pretty solid. Uh, I've seen Cobra Commander with a dish rag for a mess. <laughs> uh, yeah, that Cobra Commander. I'm sure we'll get uh, that classic look at uh, at some point. Um, I'm sure. Uh, when is the Walgreens reset happening? Uh, my stores have started. And, uh, I mean, again, I don't want to get people too excited because a lot of it's going to be just the, like, weird Walgreens toys. Like, the ping pong paddles that, like, hit a light ball. Like, I'll, I'll have to show you all in the next video. It's like a ping pong paddles, but it's like a digital ball of light. I don't know. It's weird. It probably doesn't work, but, you know, Walgreens does stuff like that. Oh, Cobra Commander down. He went right for the keyboard, too. Jerk. Still waiting for Amazon to deliver my apocalypse. Uh, that is an awesome figure. Definitely enjoying the apocalypse. He uh, he looks great. It's cool being toy addict. Uh, there's definitely a lot worse things, so just uh, buy toys responsibly, right? That's, uh, that's what YouTube wants me to tell you. Buy toys responsibly. Uh, Toxin is very different than Monster Venom. I don't think they have the same upper torso. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be excited to uh, to see those figures side by side. And that's uh, Toxin's going to be fun. I can't decide if uh, Toxin's just going to go on like the symbiote shelf or if I'm going to move the symbiotes up to the Spider-Verse now that we're getting all the Venomized characters. Uh, stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Big Bad Timber, what is going on? Lar Pole, Powell, what's happening? Welcome to the chat. So here is our Cobra knife. And Baroness has, I think, the similar like cobra headpiece but uh you can see we got a little bigger blade on this one where hers is more like a dagger i don't know is this uh is this like a short sword and i think greg pointed out when he was doing his video how you have like this piece like in here like yeah, that's a little different. Little different, you know. Hasbro. You know, there was a time where uh, all of the all of the Marvel Legends weapons were just like so weird and ridiculous. So sometimes you just gotta take what you can get. And I don't know if I have the sword in there right, but I'm thinking I want, you know, the cobra facing out like that. Maybe I need to turn it the other way because it looks kind of funny there in the bottom kind of dipping out. Let's see. Worst part about toys is uh, having to dress them. 
But you know, you want them, you want them to look presentable on the shelf. So, gotta gotta dress those toys. See, that doesn't look right. I think uh, I think it's gotta be Cobra out, right? Cobra out. Cobra out. Uh, probably find Cobra Commander in 2030. I wonder how much he'll be in 2030. If uh, if you want Knight of Ren, I'll, uh, I'll sell you my exclusive Cobra Commander in 2030. Got a deal. Uh, can't wait... Yeah, the Venomized Deadpool, that thing's going to be crazy. You talk about uh, taking that monster Venom and really uh, dressing that body up. That uh, that Deadpool took that monster Venom to the, uh, to the next level. Uh, I do need to figure out guns for that, uh, for that monster Deadpool. Like, I feel like he should have... Some kind of guns, but I never played the game, so I'll have to go maybe look at some images and see what kind of guns he has. The swords, I'm kind of I'm digging that he's got, like, the large swords, but uh, we'll see. All right, so we got this, like, modern, like, kind of old-looking gun as well. And uh, he holds that. Yeah, it's all right. But then he's got uh, this little open hand. So not bad, Cobra Commander. Not bad. Uh, check out the Foosh review of the figure. At the 550 mark, you can see what I mean about the helmet. Okay, cool. I'm going to check that out. Uh, it's going to be hard to find those. Tell me gone before they hit the shelves. Yeah, figures figures are not sticking around these days. Uh, it's definitely a... If you want something, to, uh, don't expect it to be there the next time. Next time. So we got finger pointing. And we got a closed fist. Cobra Commander's going to punch somebody? Who would Cobra Commander want to punch? Who, I ask you? Sizzle Jones, what is up? What are you hoping to see at Hasbro Pulse Con? Um, I'm obviously excited to buy those exclusives on Wednesday. But uh, as far as future figures, I'll be interested to see if we do uh, get a preview of the internals with the movie being delayed and everything, if, uh, if they'll put those figures off. But uh, I think we still have a few more re reveals. Uh, I think we got like three more figures that uh, should still be releasing this year that uh, that they haven't shown us. Uh, one of those might be the Hellfire, Clo uh, Hellfire Club goons, which uh, I'm sure everybody saw were landing over in the UK. I am super jealous that, uh, that the goons were, uh, were there and available for all of our friends in the UK. Uh, any idea when the Joes will be available in Canada? Uh, I have no idea. No idea. They they need to be available in Canada. What's uh, what's EB Games doing? What's Toys R Us doing? How does Toys R Us not have uh, the GI Joes? Uh, have the movie Turtles two pack show up at your Walmart yet? I have not seen the actual Turtles yet. But it also took forever for uh, Casey Jones and Raphael to back to show up. So I am definitely uh, keeping an eye out. I know a lot of Ninja Turtle friends out there. I'm hoping that we'll see more and more of them now that uh, 
NECA is doing more of the pre-ordering, so maybe resellers won't be getting after them as much. We'll see. If you see it and want it, buy it. It uh, that works out pretty well in uh, in the toy world we're living in right now. I uh, played Marvel's Contest of Champions and Venom Pool Gun is an oversized Colt. Ooh, very cool. I'll have to I'll have to see how uh, how we can do that. Maybe uh, maybe I can have Greg Cook make me one. Fifteen bucks on eBay retail price. I want more Fox X Men film figures review. Yeah, that that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I'm trying to remember if uh, if there was any look of Wolverine that was pretty cool during the Wolverine, but because you know you know Hasbro will give us a million Hugh Jackman figures. If they if they can keep making Hugh Jackman, they're uh, they're definitely going to keep making him. Uh, let's see. Idea where I can get a NECA Super Shredder, none in stock in my area. Yeah, uh, definitely keeping an eye out for that at Walmarts. Uh, like I said, my Walmarts are super slow. Uh, I haven't seen that uh, SDCC Predator with like all the light up effects and everything, and uh, haven't seen many of the turtles at Walmart. So we'll see. I mean, again. Things come in and things go out so fast these days. So fast. I heard that the goons got pulled from the shelves. Uh, I'm sure somebody was not happy that uh, that those guys got released. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, they'll go up for order uh, maybe over the weekend. I'd be surprised if uh, if they do them on Wednesday just because they were kind of talking about exclusives and kind of being one per customer. Uh, I would be really surprised with that being like a troop builder box and everything if, uh, if they were kind of limiting how many of those you could buy because I'm sure they're mass producing them because they're expecting people to army build them. So maybe uh, maybe by the weekend they'll do like a review of new figures. Maybe they'll show off like the Hellfire Club and talk about releasing it on Wednesday, on Thursday. And then uh, maybe they'll be like, oh, yeah, and you need these. And then we can all jump on to Hasbro Pulse. And I'm like, 5, 10, 15, 20, what's the limit? What's the limit on those goons? Jason, finding two packs. Yeah, finding two packs is uh, always fun. Mr. Holly English, what is happening? Grabbed a carbonized stormtrooper from BAM last week. Nice. Now, uh, with the carbonized, does that mean that uh, the Mandalorian got the stormtrooper and uh froze him got the NECA king kong that uh that kong is uh is pretty cool pretty cool yeah uh seems like we have a lot of godzilla in our area and uh I don't know if they're just doing like a last, like we're really going to pump out some of these figures before the rights and everything is kind of done. But uh, we've had a lot of, like there was even end caps and stuff set up with uh, Godzilla. So good, uh, good for them. What's your thoughts on the next retro spider wave? 
Uh, so you're talking about J. Jonah Jamison was rumored. Um, I can't recall much more after uh, after the J.J. rumor. Um, Y'all will have to tell me what other figures. Uh, I'm digging the Spider-Man retro cards. Uh, the other retro card that I thought was amazing... And uh, just totally took me back was um, the Fantastic Four card with uh, the Doctor Doom figure. Like, that is sick. Like, that's, uh, like, the straight-up card. It is uh, it is so cool. So I'm excited for that Doctor Doom. Uh, I'll be very surprised if I keep him on the card. But uh, kudos, and I've said this a few times, like Hasbro just uh, putting in the work on uh, on these boxes and this art and stuff. So it's uh, it's cool. Like, do I want to pay like five to ten extra dollars for it? No, but uh, it is very nice until I uh, till I throw it away. Uh, inventory dump on Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. Super stoked about the Hellfire Club. Yeah, Hellfire Club is is going to be awesome. I am pretty excited. And I got uh I got some custom Hellfire Club goons, but with not really having any of the inner circle, I never really display them and do photos and stuff. So I think I'll even pull out uh, the custom ones because I think uh, they'll uh, they'll look very similar to uh, to the new troop builder. So definitely want to get those out and uh, I'll hook up the custom figures with some of the guns and stuff coming with the with the new goons oh uh, here we go you know everybody was having fun and then jetta patrols got to come in with a negative five points just because uh just because sonic you know how how was i supposed to know that the watermelon red bull slush was only a limited time drink like, just because Sonic doesn't want to pay Red Bull anymore. I mean, you got a Cherry Limeade. I was happy with my Cherry Limeade. Red Ninjas are going to be a pain to army build for the Joes. Uh, Sizzle Jones, it's just going to be timing. Uh, the nice thing about the Red Ninjas is everybody's going to be getting the Red Ninjas. So you're going to see them at Walmart. You're going to see them on Amazon. You're going to see them at Target, at GameStop, so comic book shops. So that'll be the big advantage. It's just timing. Uh, technically, the Wave 2 wasn't supposed to come out until like November. So a lot of this Red Ninjas that we're seeing now Kinda early, so don't uh, don't spend the big bucks. Yes, Red Ninjas are currently in stock on Macari and eBay. They're uh, first shot exclusives, right? Yeah, I mean even even Walgreens, you're gonna see at Walgreens. Now I'm not saying that everybody's gonna get twenty Red Ninjas, but I don't think they're going to be as awful as the Cobra Trooper. Cobra Trooper might be the perfect figure for uh, for 2020. That and the Red Hulk. But uh, things were a lot nicer when, uh, when the Red Hulk was out. <clears throat> a lot nicer. I uh, got... Gotta keep, yeah, one of those dooms on the card is a good look. 
Cobra Trooper is my favorite figure overall of 2020. Uh, it is a amazing figure. And uh, again, Hasbro is going to make so many variants of the Cobra Trooper. Uh, look at our Storm Troopers and all that good stuff from Black Series. So definitely uh, hang in there. We'll, uh, we'll have plenty of uh, Cobra Troopers, and I'm sure they will be awesome. Awesome, awesome figures. Awesome figures. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, Rob, that's definitely a route, um, if, uh, some online retailers, you know, if they're gonna sell a case of Red Ninjas, that, uh, that might be the way to do it. I mean, for me, that, uh, that doesn't make exciting YouTube hunt videos, but, uh, I like your strategy. All right, so there is our Cobra Commander. He's got his fist. He's got his finger. He's like, what are you doing? Why didn't you join Cobra? Why? Why, Destro? Baroness, where are you going? Cobra Commander. That pointing finger, I'm telling you, classic. All's, uh, all's I need is that uh, Starscream voice and... Uh, You'd think you were watching an episode of G.I. Joe. Just got to test the stream. Having issues with them cutting out. Well, all right, Jay Lee. Thanks for uh, testing the stream. Not a Joe fan, but that's a nice figure. Yeah, Dennis, um, I don't blame you. The Joes, you know. It's, uh, I told myself I would only get the Cobra figures, and next thing I know, I got, like, all the G.I. Joes. It's, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But, uh, they look so, so good with the Marvel Legends. So good. I, uh, definitely enjoy some of the little back and forth, so... Happened on a channel last night and was doing it. Hmm. Hmm. The YouTube. Gotta watch the YouTube. Whoa. Hasbro. Hasbro. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the exclusive Cobra Commander. Uh, definitely like the uh, deco and everything on that figure. So I am definitely excited for Wednesday. Going to pre-order that when we get to Hasbro PulseCon. Uh, definitely going to pre-order the Hellfire Club. Gonna order Old Man Logan and Professor X from Logan. Uh, solid looking figures. Don't think I'll do the Power Rangers, and I don't think I'm doing any Star Wars. So we'll see if there's anything else. Probably talk more about uh, Hasbro Pulse Con. Maybe next weekend. Uh, so Hasbro PulseCon, the exclusive figures will be on the 23rd. They're doing a preview on September 22nd. And then non-members is the 24th. And then the 25th and 26th will probably start to get some reveals and kind of see what's uh, coming next from uh, some of our favorite lines like G.I. Joe, Power Rangers, Marvel Legends, Star Wars. 
should be uh, should be a fun little weekend. I thought about uh, taking off that Friday, and I was just gonna like live stream and talk about Hasbro PulseCon all day. But then they announced that uh, they were gonna do the figures earlier in the week, so I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see how that plays out. Maybe uh, maybe I'll just do a live stream on the nights and uh, kind of talk about what's good, what uh, what I ordered, all that fun stuff, and uh, see how everybody did. Doug Ghouls, who is on the case above the Hydra guys? Uh, that is the Heath Ledger Joker. Those are Hot Toys and a Funko Pop. Heath Ledger Joker. Uh, after browsing the Marvel run, Cobra Civil War, really need Pimp Daddy, Destro, a new Kazar body. Nice. Very nice. That would be the coolest. Well, you know, we try to we try to get the coolest. Yeah, Destro, uh, they did a real good job with uh, the original Destro figure. I got uh, our Profits, Profits dealer Destro coming with the burning money. That, uh, that's going to be so much fun. Chris Barcodes, what's going on? You know, Chris, you got me in so much trouble. I've been going to... Books a million. I've been going to Second and Charles trying to find uh, all those Fox X Men figures because of your Instagram posts. I did. Uh, I did get uh, Magneto and Xavier two pack. So thank you for uh, posting Books a Million, getting those figures. Appreciate it. I found the Fox X-Men stuff. You sure did, Knight of Ren. You sure did. A lot, uh, lot of good stuff coming this week. Give you all a little bit of preview. We got uh, some more toy hunts on the way. So if you want to see what uh what those walgreens restocks might look like uh definitely stay tuned for that uh i went to another second in charles here in the charlotte area so did i find more awesome loose figures we uh we might have found uh, a very nice loose figure so uh stay tuned for that video but, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, like I said, checking out quite a few Walgreens. So Walgreens is uh, back on the hunt radar. Uh, we're just doing quite a few Target and Walmart videos, which really isn't a problem because between Target and Walmart, I probably have like 30 or 40 locations that I can go to. Because, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Like, we have two targets that are probably less than a mile from each other. Like, it's it's insane, all these stores around here. And uh, I like sharing, so running around the stores, videotaping it, trying not to screw up the audio too much, you know. That's, uh, that's me. Deadpool pirate figure... Yeah, uh, I've seen our second and Charles. They were getting the uh, the Deadpool Pirates and the Deadpool X Men. Yeah, I haven't uh, <laughs> I haven't been in Barnes and Noble forever. Uh, both of so we have second and Charles. 
which is basically books a million, except they do like the trade-ins and stuff. And uh, they're like company, sister company, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They get uh, similar new stock. So I've gone to the three books a million that are kind of outside of Charlotte. And then I went to the two second in Charles. Uh, still haven't found spoilers. The Wolverine rock in the jacket yet, but uh, I did get the Amazon Wolverine. So I'm not losing my mind yet about the other Wolverine. I uh, have to pop into Walgreens, two white figures looking for. Nice. Yeah, I like uh, Moon Knight is definitely a great look. I'm on the lookout for uh, for that Iron Man Silver Centaurian. That thing is going to be awesome. So hopefully I find that. Question is, Target discontinuing Cobra Island exclusive G.I. Joe figures. Um, when I checked on Cobra Troopers with uh, the little scanners in store, they uh, they had them on clearance already. So I don't know how much more Cobra Island we will get. The question is, what will be the next Cobra Island? Will it be Cobra Moon? Cobra office. I don't know. Hasbro knows. We'll see when they tell us. Maybe Target knows. Hopefully Target doesn't know. Maybe it'll be a Walmart exclusive this time. It'll be it'll be Cobra Cobra Walmart. And all the uh, all the figures will be dressed up as Walmart employees. And they will not be helpful at all. Cobra Classified, what's going on? What's going on? Did you see the flaming oil drum? Yeah, that uh, that was pretty cool. Tech deck, uh, hot garbage. Yeah, Chris, uh, I definitely like that. It'll be interesting. Uh, like, I... I enjoy the brick background that you use for your pictures, and it fit in there real nice. Uh, I'll have to look around my Spider-Verse to see if uh, if I can make that work. Uh, when videoing in Target and Walmart, do the employees say anything like, you can't do that here? Uh, I've seen Ryan get yelled at by uh, by the security people sometimes. But uh, I usually have my phone, and, like, people will comment, like, why don't I use, like, a microphone and stuff to, uh, you know, a little clearer audio and stuff. And part of it is because people don't tend to bother you as much when you're recording on the phone. Uh, sometimes I'll just pretend like I'm video chatting with somebody. Or I go to the stores frequent enough and they see me video chatting. So, boom. Californian Photography. Are you picking up any Hasbro Pulse Con exclusives on the 25th? I will not wait until the 25th. <laughs> Uh, so on the 23rd, they'll be doing the Hasbro members, which uh, I definitely have my Hasbro membership. And uh, I'm going to try to scoop up the Hellfire Club. I want the two-pack Logan, Professor X. I want Cobra Commander. And uh, we'll see what else. But uh, definitely shooting for those three. If I uh, if they release the Hellfire Club goon, uh, I might scoop up a few of those. So yeah, I'm excited. Uh, probably next weekend will be Hasbro Pulse Con exclusive heavy. 
So I'm going to try to put together some videos and stuff, and uh, we'll see how much fun we can have with uh, Hasbro PulseCon before it gets here. But as far as dates for Hasbro PulseCon, uh, 22nd, I believe at noon, will be kind of sneak preview of uh, what is going on with Hasbro PulseCon. Maybe they'll... Uh, make it uh, official what the exclusives are going to be on the 23rd, which is Wednesday will be the members uh, being able to purchase exclusives. Then on that Thursday, it'll be open to everybody. And then I think the 25th and 26th are just going to be people kind of presenting like we've seen with uh, Hasbro First, where they were doing the different uh, teleconferencing and showing figures and whatnot. So I think we're going to get like a cosplay contest. So it'll be a lot of media and kind of presentations and probably showing future figures and maybe showing off some of the figures we've gotten this year. And probably showing off some of the exclusives. They like to kind of show what uh, what may still be available or just showcase what, uh, what's sold out and get people excited that uh, they got it, didn't get it. Uh, how about some Cobra Vipers? Oh, yes. Cobra Crimson Guard. Yes. We need bats. Soon as uh, as soon as they announce that there's Cobra bats, like just tell me what the limit is. Tell me what the limit is on Cobra bats, cause I will, I will hit that button, push it to the limit, just like uh, just like the song, right? Uh, half the time I go into any Target, there is always some girl or some elderly person video chatting. Yeah, everybody loves video chatting. Just, uh, just make sure if you're going to live stream in Target, uh, make sure you get onto the Target uh, Wi-Fi because the farther I get back to like electronics and toys, like good luck uh, video chatting or live streaming. Good luck. Primetime Reviews. Have an awesome week. Thanks for hanging out. I uh, need X-Men movie Cyclops. Yeah, I imagine we'll get uh, Cyclops and Jean Grey. I feel like uh, the two packs uh, have been pretty solid. I was a little confused by Deadpool and uh, Nega Sonic Teenage Warhead, but it is what it is. I would have rather had, like, Deadpool and uh, Colossus. That would have been fantastic. Or, like, Deadpool and uh, the dude that drives the cab. That that would have been funny. Or, like, Steve. If we could have got Deadpool and Steve, that would have been great. Or Domino and Steve. Just saying, X-Force. Shatterstar, but he's just, like, the goo. Spoilers if you haven't seen Deadpool 2. Can't wait that Cobra Commander. Yeah, Supreme Cobra Commander. It's going to be awesome. Zartan will be great. Uh, do a battle damage him and camera. Bat head. Ooh, yeah, that could be fun. That's uh, That could definitely be fun. Just, uh, just don't do like the NECA foot soldiers and put them in a two pack like just give me uh give me some extra accessories so i can like add the battle damage oh snap come on mama said pop you out i i would have bought nega sonic uh you know the actress was very sweet uh i think we saw her at uh Atlanta Comic Con, so come on. We're going to get Colossus with an empty 
Professor X Chair Two Pack. Hmm. What about uh, are we gonna get uh, the Vanisher? Vanisher could be in a two pack. Uh, yes, if it was Domino in Deadpool or Cable in Deadpool, my uh, my life would be complete right now. Complete, I tell you. It'd be great. <laughs> but uh, we've been going for about an hour. Uh, like I said, stay tuned. A lot of good stuff coming this week. If uh, you didn't catch the Hunt video, last three pack video from hot lana if uh if you missed out on any of those uh three pack videos go back and uh take a look we had a lot of fun uh just a long weekend so we thought we would get together bring bring the band back together we're uh we're used to going down to atlanta for uh for comic con uh it would have been the third year of uh, the three pack at uh, Atlanta Comic Con, so a little, little sad that uh, that we didn't get to get to do Comic Con, but uh, you know, in the future we'll get there. Jeffrey, I feel your pain. Red Ninjas are coming. They gotta be coming any day now. We're all gonna get Red Ninjas. I'm telling you, we're gonna get them. Uh, yes, I need, uh, I need Storm and I need that, uh, Thunderbird. I think, don't quote me, don't quote me, check your targets October 4th. I'm pretty sure that's what the app says, October 4th. I don't know if that'll be like a restock online. I'm kind of hoping that they're going to be in store. But let's see if I can get it to pull up. Make sure I'm not just making this up. So it says coming October 4th. So I have uh, I have put October 4th on my calendar. I am really hoping that uh, that they're going to be in store and I can just go scoop it up. But uh, yeah, at the very least, check the uh, check the app on October fourth, and maybe we can all get Storm. I need that Storm to kind of finish my uh, my video game, the old uh, video game wave. So that'll be awesome. When is Walgreens reset? Yeah, uh, so here in the Charlotte area, they are starting to set it up. I've seen plenty of the sheets uh, kind of hanging up at the Walgreens. Like I said, don't uh, don't get too excited. It's like one of those walls, like they're setting up for the holidays. But uh, it's a bunch of weird stuff too. So with uh, legends and. Hopefully, GI Joe's kind of sprinkled into little areas of the wall. Here's hoping. All right. I hope everybody has an awesome week. Go check out all the videos. Uh, stay out of trouble. Have fun. Uh, find all the toys you're looking for, but do it responsibly. Do it responsibly. Till next time, always be hunting. Have fun collecting.